What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video and today we're going to be taking a look at this sneak peek that Raid just released and hopefully there's some really cool things in here and yes before we get into this video I've been away for a little while but we're back everything's good and loads of things going on and hopefully throughout this week I'll have a bunch of videos coming out to cover all of these new things fusions, new champions, updates, you name it, it's all going on at the moment. Let's get into this video. As, as some of you may have noticed, we've not been able to deliver our What's Next in Raid videos as often as we'd have liked recently, but that doesn't mean we don't have a lot of cool things in the works. And that's what this video is all about. We're going to give you a sneak peek at a few things that are coming to Raid in the very, very near future. Let's okay. dive in. First up, Heroes Path events. What's this? These extra special events give okay. everyone branching choices. Now that looks interesting. Let's see what you got to say. The reward paths, and it's down to you to decide which path or paths you want to head down. If you've got your eyes on something special, you can pick the quickest route to get your hands on it, picking up a bunch of other goodies along the way. Here's how they work. Heroes Path events will combine a bunch of activities and game modes, like raiding dungeons for artifacts. As you complete those activities, you'll earn hero coins, which in turn, you'll use however you see fit to unlock rewards and get keys to explore those reward paths. Every path will eventually lead to the event's most valuable, prestigious reward. What I do like to see here is, there is void shards, there's chickens. The price looks pretty hefty. I'm not sure if it's going to be in every single dungeon or everything you do in the game. It seems to be only if it's a part of this Path of Light events. I will probably go on like maybe once a week, once every two weeks. You kind of collect those rewards over time and splash out on one of these trees. I guess it does show you every single reward here. And you'll be able to get extra keys and hero coins to unlock the other reward paths too. Okay. So don't stress over your decision. You can't really lose out or miss out. You can't really lose out or miss out. So is it all of the same rewards? They just come in different ways? Like, you might get an XP boost here, but then you get one here, and then you get one here. It's interesting. I wish it was a bit different. Maybe like a skin at the bottom, potentially. Our first Heroes Path event will be dedicated to the Summer Solstice, and will be called the Path of Light event. You'll be collecting light coins to get your hands on some amazing rewards. We're pretty sure you're going to love these events, but like every time we release something new, we'll be looking for your feedback once... One thing that I really wish that this event kind of has in it, it's not this, the kind of basic dungeon divers, the champion trainings, and then it's just like the same game modes doing this. I wish it's something like use these affinities in the arena or use this specific faction in dungeons or maybe something like that. I'm not too sure, but just spice it up a little bit compared to the normal events that we do in game to make people really excited about this. The rewards don't look crazy, but we can't say no to free rewards, right? They're live to help tweak and shape them for the future. Aside from Heroes Path events, we have a few quality of okay. life improvements in the works as well. The first is something that's been heavily requested Hydra Battle Regrouping. You can already do okay. this from inside. Yeah, I a heard battle. about this. So, the free regroups, you can now get your final damage and then you can free regroup, right? Let's see. Using that Hydra key or trying again to fight for a better score. There we go. You'll so for those people that's just trying to get their high scores, see where they can take it, they can now let the run finish. So people like the head of Wrath, when they do that crazy one shot and you didn't get time to back out, you can now let the run finish, think, is this damage good enough or can I do better? Go through it again with a free regroup at the bottom. I really wish that this was in the Demon Lord as well. I'm not sure why it isn't. Doesn't make any sense to me because... Even though the clan boss can be a full auto on Ultra Nightmare or whatever, having this feature here could really help someone out in losing a key, right? They get like 70 million, they need 70.1. Give us a free regroup in the Demon Lord as well, so people can really start to theory craft on that side of things too. I think that'd be a good one. You'll be thrown back to team selection where you'll get to tweak your team and take on the Hydra once again. Next up. Tag arena improvement. Inactivity penalty. We're introducing an inactivity penalty. <laughs> this is made for people like me because I never hit it. Similar to what we have in classic arena, anyone who doesn't carry out 10 offense battles per week will be demoted to a lower tier. Want to keep those sweet... Is this needed? For anybody that actually does the tag team arena, 
do you find do you find it like you're flooded in like the higher ends because i just see people hitting some easy bot teams for cvc maybe that's what they're trying to counter here maybe people trying to do it more but me i'm probably gonna end up in bronze because i don't like this game mode i only do it on cvc i don't know what do you think about this high tier rewards you gotta fight for them this one's a small change but them. We think it'll make a big difference and help free up space for climbing the tiers for the more active tag arena players. Okay, artifact okay. and accessory upgrades. Watching that upgrade Now bars this one here is amazing. I have been trying it on the test server, but I'll do a separate video on that throughout the week. Slowly tease us with a successful upgrade, only to flicker out into failure isn't exactly our favorite part of the game either. Oh, so we're doing something about it. We're releasing an instant upgrade option that will allow you to skip all the upgrade animations entirely. The game will automatically simulate all the attempts required. One thing I want to say about this, guys, but oh wait, there's those light coins. So maybe there's like, hmm, this is interesting. I want to see more into this. I may have just skimmed past the full details of it, but it does look pretty cool like this to get some extra things throughout. But one thing I did want to see about this event is, or this new instant upgrade, is just be wary of it because you can chunk through millions of silver without even figuring out like where the heck did my silver go do it to a do it to 12 see where the rolls are going if it's going your way then hit that 16 button because if you just hit 16 straight away you might end up with a bunch of flat stats and millions of less silver so just bear that in mind here the actual process will still happen the normal way, attempt by attempt. Okay, let's just go through this bit now. Oh, track, I'm seeing new skins. But you won't have to really, really want to. One last thing before we go. Okay. Champion skin. Ronda. We Someone I don't have, but okay. We keep working on some. And our next lucky champion is the queen of the oversized Ooh, hammer herself. Incinerous and ice drink. Mullet. Keep your eyes open. Now that looks pretty cool. He lo she looks like Tormin. <laughs> How much is it going to cost? Valerium. What was that? Five grand? Bargain. <laughs> Come For a on. chance to get your hands on her amazing ice drake and incinerous skins. And that's it for today. Grand. As always, we hope you guys whoa, whoa, enjoyed whoa, whoa, the whoa. taste of what's to come. That looks sweet, though. I just wish there was ways to get it apart from buying them. I know that we had the cold hot one, which was pretty cool, but it's just too limited. Maybe if there's like a basic skin for all characters. Like, do you guys remember in Call of Duty? Get like... 200 headshots and you get something like that you could do something in like the arena or the dungeons if you do a thousand or ten thousand spider runs you get a skin and even if it's like a universal one that everybody can get just a cool way to get them apart from spending money i think would be pretty nice but in terms of just aesthetics i would be happy to get smacked by a incinerated trunda i'll tell you that much i might actually let them win Leave your comments below, hit like and okay. subscribe, and keep on... Yeah, while they're asking for it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content on the channel. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on this sneak peek update from Raid. And I'll catch you guys later on today for a Stage 120 Dark Fae easy accessible team. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.